What's happening guys, Color99 from YouTube with uh, another tutorial um, in Hammer Editor. I'm sorry it's been a while since I posted the last tutorial, but um, I went to another house for like a week. So I haven't had time to make another tutorial, but I'll make a new one today. And today's is going to be about um, unlocking a door with a key. So I already have my basic are area set up. I don't want to spend the time to do that, but um, I have a door with a door frame, and I have a big room and then a wall in between them, so you have one room and the other, and in the door, this is a prop door rotating, and in the flags, you check starts locked, that makes it so it's always going to start out locked. Okay, so what you're going to want to do first start off is to make a trigger rush about yay big in front of the keyhole in the door sorry I hate when that does that it's about, that's, that's about good I mean it's a general area that you're supposed to put the key in anyway so I'm going to go ahead and give this a trigger texture hit apply alright so we have this trigger brush and what we're going to do Let's first name this door. I'm just going to name it door 01. Apply. Okay, so so with the trigger brush, what you want to do is um, click Control T and tie it to a um, brush entity. It's uh, trigger underscore once. Since you're only going to need to unlock a door once. Um, just leave it at that for now so we have our trigger ones and then you're gonna make a little key you can use a model it doesn't really matter but I'm going to make a key so I'm gonna start out with a six six unit brush six by two six in width and length and two in height and hit enter and I'm just gonna give this a random metal texture I have one already um, metal plate I think it's what it is Yep, right here, middle underscore plate 01. I'm going to go ahead and give this a round type structure to it, so I'm going to clip the brush on each corner, like this. So it gives it kind of a round shape. And I'm going to make a, a brush about 8 units long, and 2 units in height and width. And then you're just going to make 2 more two unit brushes like this it's like little keyholes and just highlight all the brushes that you just made and hit control T and make it a funk fizz box name this fizz box key 01 you don't have to you can just name it key if you want but I'm going to name it key, mo key 01 material type I'm going to set it to metal and apply and I'm just going to go ahead and set this on the ground okay so what you're gonna want so now what you do is click on the trigger once entity and in flags, unclick client and click physics objects. Click apply. And then um, outputs, click add on trigger door underscore O one unlock. I'm just gonna set this to fire once only because it only needs to fire once. And then I'm gonna add another one in on trigger key O one kill click fire only once okay um, so now the problem with this is now as I'm going to show you how to fix this is that any physics objects that you put in this trigger brush will activate the door to unlock so what you do is click um, the trigger once and in filter name you see there's a filter filter activator name for more explanation okay so what you do is you place a int entity in front of the door. It doesn't matter where it is. It really doesn't matter where it is in the map unless it's out in the void. Then you're going to be screwed. Name filter underscore activator underscore name. Click apply. And the name of the filter is going to be, I'm going to name it key only. Click apply. And the filter name, this is the name of the entity that you want. So that's the only one that can trigger this trigger brush. So it's going to be key 01. Click apply. And I'm just going to drag this in front of the trigger brush like this. Okay, so you see this little hello, my name is Gordon thing? 
That's the activator or the filter. So click the trigger brush and under filter name, it'll only bring up when you click the down arrow, it'll only bring up the filter filters in the map. So click key only and hit apply. And so now when you drag this key, when you drop this key into the um this thing, it'll activate the door to unlock. And then you there if you want, I'm going to show you hurry really in or hurry and show you to how to add a sound when you unlock the door. So I'm just going to place an ambient underscore generic in my map. Um, it's a ri it's a regular entity, not a brush entity. So remember that one. And um, and the sound name. I think it's in the door filter. I'm not really sure. I'll have to. I'll have to check all the sounds. I'm just gonna do doors underscore default or slash default underscore locked dot wave. And I'm gonna name the sound unlock. I'm gonna name the entity unlock. So that one and so now what you do is um I'm gonna hurry and set this the flags to play everywhere and to not start silent. Wait uh, yeah, start silent, no check that and um, in the trigger brush in outputs click add on trigger unlock play sound only once and click apply so now when you drag this key over here into the triggered brush it'll f play this sound and the door will unlock and then you can walk through the door into this other room so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and um, keep watching for more.